How do you add mortgage interest in TurboTax? So you need to find the exact spot where to add mortgage interest. You should get a form from your uh, mortgage provider. And so to do that, that's going to be in the deductions and credits section. So on the left-hand sidebar here, we're going to go down to deductions and credits. Now inside of here, you're going to find everything that you've sort of filled out already. There's one section for your home. And so inside of here, if we drop this down, we're going to find the mortgage interest and refinancing. So form 1098. We can start this section or edit this section if you need to. And from there, it's going to ask you these questions about whether or not you paid a home loan. You probably did if you're adding mortgage entrance, uh, interest. You can connect a financial account if you want. Um, you don't have to. You'll be able to skip if you can't find your uh, financial provider either where you have your mortgage from. So you can change how you enter your form by just bringing it over from your bank, uploading it from your computer, or taking a picture with your phone. You can also type it in yourself. And so there's a little bubble down here where you can type in the information on this form for yourself. Uh, you type in lender name. So we'll say mortgage provider here. Uh, it's a little bit easier when you do provide the form because a lot of this stuff will fill in. Uh, from here, there's just some uncommon situations. If none apply, you can continue. And then you'll be able to enter in your mortgage interest. And so whatever you paid there and then all of the different boxes that are on that form 1098. If you don't have that form yet, then you won't be able to fill this out quite yet. So reach out to your mortgage provider or maybe it's just early and they haven't quite sent it. Uh, and you can continue on. I can't continue because I have to actually uh, type in some information here. So we're just going to type in a few things that don't mean anything here. Outstanding mortgage principal, let's just say 250000 something like that, and we'll hit continue. And so, yes, this is a property I own. Continue what type of property? We'll say primary home. Uh, and then points, I'm going to say uh, we've already deducted all the points and continue. And then, yes, this is the most recent 1098 for this loan. And then it asks about some details, whether it's a home equity line of credit, a refinance, I'm going to say none of those. And then it's got the mortgage info in there, and we can hit continue. And you can see here that if we drop this down, you'll see interest paid. So your mortgage interest is in there and every other detail that you probably filled out. And so I just went ahead and went through the flow so that you could see all the way to the end what that's going to look like when we hit done then inside of deductions and credits, you're going to see up here at the top your tax breaks. So we visited the home section down here, but now it actually adds in the mortgage interest and refinancing uh, form 1098. And so that's where you can find where to add mortgage interest in TurboTax.